This is a tutorial to make your own brine shrimp hatchery at home to use for your aquarium as feed uh, for your fry. It's basically a three-step process. The first step will be is to make our actual container that the brine shrimp will hatch in. The second step will be is to make our hatching solution and the third step will be to actually harvest or hatch and harvest the brine shrimp in our containers to bring it all together. Let me explain some of the materials that you'll need for this tutorial or for this project. You'll need a pair of scissors. Um, we're going to use those to cut up our, our bottles. Our bottles are just one liter uh, soda bottles. Um, you can get anywhere but the one liter is what we're going to use and you're going to need two of those. You'll also need some rigid uh, tubing for air supply, you can get this at a pet supply store. While you're there you'll want to pick up some plastic flexible tubing. Um, it's again air, air hose, airline tubing. And then of course we're going to need a, um, an air pump. The second step is actually going to be creating our, our hatching solution. You can just use regular table salt. The non-iodized type is the, is, uh, the best. Um, and you can, you know, pick that up at any grocery store along with your baking soda. Um, we'll use this to get the correct pH that we need and that'll help your brine shrimp hatch and, and uh, live longer. And then you'll need a tablespoon, if you can see that. Um, we'll need a tablespoon to hatch or to, to measure our salt. Then as far as this goes, we'll need a light source, a lamp. Um, a straw, we're going to use this to actually harvest our brine shrimp. You'll need a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon actually. This will be used um, to measure our brine shrimp. And then of course your brine shrimp. And I recommend 90% um, brine shrimp if you can afford it. If not, the 70% will be fine. You just might want to let it go a little bit longer in your hatching vessel to get the optimum hatch out. So let's get started. We'll begin with step one. For the first step, you'll need your one liter bottles, both of them. You'll need your scissors, your plastic uh, airline, your rigid airline, and your pump. What we'll do is we'll start off. You want to cut the first um, line, your your first j jar. You want to cut near the bottom and discard where the X is. Once you cut that. That'll give us our up our actual container that we'll hatch the brine shrimp in. It'll look like this. We're going to use the second one for a base to stabilize our our container. So again, you'll cut about a third the way up and discard this top part so you just have the base. That'll give you a piece like this, which you'll stick your container in, and that'll give it more stability. Make sure your lid's also securely on. We'll next take uh, our plastic tubing and our rigid tubing, and you'll want to put that piece, those pieces together, like this, and then take the other end of the tubing and put it into your pump. This will be our air supply for the brine shrimp container. Um, which will then give us our our brine shrimp uh, our brine shrimp hatchery part. Let's move on to step two, which will be preparing the solution. All right. Once you've got your hatching container made, step two will be is to make the hatching solution. It's very simple. We'll first start out with warm tap water, and you'll put it into your hatching container. You'll want to fill this up not quite full, about three quarters the way. This way you'll give a little bit of room for, uh, maybe a little bit more than three quarters, this way you'll give room for the the brine shrimp to bubble and have a little bit of room in there. With that, once you get the water in, we'll want to plug our pump in. And then we'll take our table salt. The general rule is um, 
one t heaping tablespoon or about 25 grams of salt per liter. Since we're doing a little less than a liter, we'll probably just make a flat, is what I do, a flat tablespoon of salt like that. I'll dump that in. We'll then take our baking soda and just grab a pinch. You want to do a pinch per liter, so that'll stabilize the pH. Now you've got your hatching solution that you're going to put your brine shrimp in. This takes care of step two, and now let's show you step three. Okay, step three, you'll want to grab your, your half teaspoon. I recommend doing a half a teaspoon per liter of water. So we'll take our brine shrimp eggs, like I said, 90%. And as you can see, it's kind of it kind of looks like sand. Uh, they're very small. And what we'll do is we'll just flatten that off to where we have a half teaspoon of brine shrimp eggs, which we'll add to our container. What will happen is you'll get some that will float on the top. You can take your straw that we're going to use to harvest it and turn swish it around a little bit if you need to, till the eggs actually hydrate. When the when the companies, the harvest companies, pull these off of uh, the Great Salt Lake or various salt ponds, they dry them off and they'll dimple. And when they dimple, they uh, are able to store for years that way until they are introduced back into a hatching solution again. With this, we'll now let it go for 24 hours. We'll want our light on. This way it will... Uh, this way it will hatch properly. You'll also want it in a warm place. The optimum hatching temperature is between 77 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're cooler than that, it'll just take a little bit longer to hatch. A, a teaspoon like this with 90% hatch rate is going to be equal to about 280,000 uh, brine shrimp eggs. Um, and so you can imagine you'll have a lot of brine shrimp if you get 90% of them to hatch out in there. You'll have you know almost a quarter million brine shrimp swimming around that you can feed to your fry. So let's let this go for 24 hours and then we'll show you how to how to harvest it. Okay, so here we are 24 hours later. You can see there's a color change in our in our container. It's uh it's gone to an orange, which are the brine shrimp actually uh, being circulated around in there. Okay, let's let's remove the air, and uh, I'll show you how we need how an easy, simple way to harvest uh, the brine shrimp for your fry. All right, here we are, about 10 minutes later. Um, I've let the the brine shrimp shell separate from the brine shrimp a. Uh, um, the brine shrimp themselves. At the bottom here you can see it's orange from here to here. This is where your all your brine shrimp are swimming. Here you should have a clear column of water and then at the top your shell I can make it show you a little bit closer. You can see the shell on the top, the clear column of water and then it gets orange down at the bottom. The concentration of the brine shrimp are going to be um, down here at the very very bottom. So what we want to do is just take our straw and you'll put your finger on it, the very top, and you'll put it down to the very bottom and then let go of your finger and grab it. And as you can see, the straw will be orange. That's all of the brine shrimp that you uh, that you want. And that way when you're done, you can just let it go and it will feed it to your fish. And they'll just love it.